Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a little bit different. It's not a vlog, it's not a haul, it's not a cooking video, it's a video that I've been meaning to do for a long time. So this list I actually wrote back in October. I was meaning to film this video and it just completely slipped my mind. But I thought since we're in the new year kind of vibes, it would be good to talk about things that I don't buy anymore and how I generally for the past two to three years have been saving money so if you like my hair i've actually just finished filming a tutorial it's gonna be up on instagram um, very soon so about two to three years ago i completely changed the way i spend my money how i save how i spend the kind of things that i was buying and i was just a bit more mindful about things that I would used to not even think twice about buying um, now I always think about it do I need it is it a want or is it a need and then I go from there so first of all I want to talk about the first thing that you guys may have noticed that I don't really buy as often as I used to and that is designer handbags I still love designer handbags but I will only buy designer handbags that I absolutely love so I don't buy it bags anymore I remember when Instagram, YouTube and watch people and there'd be this it's bag that everybody had and I'd be like oh, oh my god I really want that I need that and I would actually just buy it but now when I think back do I actually like those bags or do I like it because everybody else has got it um, so I haven't been buying any bags recently for the past one or two years um, the only bag that I have bought was the Louis Vuitton bum bag which I thought was really useful and I genuinely really wanted and liked it and I'd wanted it for a long time and it was always out of stock so I never got around to buying it until it came into stock and sometimes I think nowadays a designer bag is over a thousand pounds easily like a thousand pounds is kind of like the benchmark of designer bags um, anything under it would be a smaller designer handbag like a crossbody or something but if you want like a proper medium sized luxury good quality kind of designer bag you're looking at over a thousand pounds so in my mind i'm thinking that one thousand pounds could go towards aiden's bank account savings it could go towards investing it could go towards saving up to buy a second property there's so many other things that come into my mind before i think okay let's go buy this handbag because let's be honest i used to buy handbags a lot and they're now just sat in the top of my wardrobe gathering dust and especially now where for the past year we haven't been going anywhere i'm just like whenever i do a declutter or i look at them i'm like why why did i spend like two thousand pounds on this bag um the only exceptions that i would say i would still buy is brands that don't lose value so brands like chanel i will always still have interest in i would still consider it as a purchase because it generally grows in value over time but Bags like my Chloe one, my Prada, my Chiffon Shea, they've all gone down in value and they're like worth less than half of what I pay for it. So I'm just like, they're still really good condition, they're still brand new, but it's just not worth any money. And that's why I stopped buying um, as many designer handbags as I used to. So skincare and makeup. This is hard because I'm saying this because I get sent a lot of skincare and makeup obviously so generally I don't actually have to buy any but I still used to buy skincare and makeup and when I say skincare and makeup it would be on the whim so I'd walk into Boots, I'd walk into Selfridges or whatever and I would just fancy buying something and that would always be beauty makeup skincare because that's what I'm into and I realized that I was accumulating all of these products that I would use once or twice and then not use them again I have like over 100 lipsticks and I'm just like why why do I need over 100 lipsticks so what I do now is I always have like my holy grail favorites in my makeup bag and my skincare routine and if I finish that product I try and 
use something new so that I can test products obviously get sent a lot but if I wasn't doing this as a job or if I wasn't being sent all of this stuff I would just repurchase my staples and stop dipping into different skincare um, brands and products just because it's the latest skincare craze or everybody's using it so I want to try it when really it might not even end up being good for my skin so that's what I'm trying to get at like I'm not buying makeup or um, skincare on a whim. Although I did buy the Maybelline Sky High Mascara the other day on a whim because it was going viral on TikTok. But that is justified because it is actually a really good mascara. So I will get use out of that and I will finish that. But in terms of skincare, there's a lot of skincare that I bought previously and I didn't even get through half of it. So my third thing that I don't buy anymore is trendy pieces so each season fashion comes and goes I have been sticking to basics I might buy like one piece a season so that I can kind of incorporate into my wardrobe and make an outfit look a little bit more trendy but in general I don't buy trend pieces anymore because so many trend pieces I look back and I'm just like I'm not going to wear that again especially I think trend pieces are quite easy to spot like last summer everybody was wearing those vests with the shoulder pads like nobody's going to be wearing those in summer and then what else was there what other trends was there there were so many trends that I was just like no not spending my money on that instead I buy maybe more expensive key pieces and um, so say, say for example this jumper is from Ant of the Stories I've been wearing this for like two years now and it still doesn't go out of style. So my fourth item is home stuff that I don't need. I have so much home stuff that I buy on the whim that I don't actually really need. Like I go shopping and I'll be like, mmm, this soap dispenser is nice. I don't need a soap dispenser, but I still buy it because it's nice. <laughs> um, what else do I always buy? Um, I used to buy... Um, actually I'm using them now but I used to always buy a lot and actually have more than I need um, I used to go to home sense a lot and I just had a browse and I would buy those marble slabs um, which people use for serving um, platters or now I just put my candles on top and I put some food on top to make it look nice when I take photos from my food Instagram but other than that I don't really use them and I, I just need to stop buying stuff like that and what else do I need? Buy mirrors. I have a lot of mirrors in my house. Sometimes I'm just like, what am I going to do with this now? Um, jewelry holders. I have a lot of jewelry holders, but I don't actually put my jewelry in. <laughs> There's a lot of useless things that I would go shopping on a whim and I would buy now, I think twice, I think three times, four times. I ask myself, do I need it? and the majority of the time it's no <laughs> so i just like yeah that's nice but i'll leave that on the shelf so my fifth thing is food in bulk um this is in general um obviously now that we're in a pandemic i try to buy as much food as i can so that i don't have to keep going out but in general i find that when i buy too much food i end up wasting a lot of food because i can't get through it quick enough it's just me and Aiden so when I buy a whole trolley full of food especially the fruit and veg it just goes off really quickly in my fridge and I find that I'm wasting food so instead I go every three days and then buy two to three days worth of food and um, obviously freezer stuff I buy a lot more and sometimes when there's nothing in the fridge I can make do with what's in the cupboard and the freezer but in general I've stopped buying like seven like a whole week's worth of food because it does generally just go to waste and every time I throw out something that's moldy I just think oh like it's such a waste sorry I didn't realize how bright the camera was getting but the next thing I want to talk about is cheap candles and diffusers I understand that candles and diffusers 
uh, a little bit more pricier when you buy the nicer ones but I genuinely think that the nicer ones are so much more um, long lasting and they're they're more worth the money. Um, the only cheap candles or inexpensive candles that I still buy is Yankee candles because I do really like their scents but otherwise I don't buy candles on a whim, I don't buy candles from the supermarket anymore or anything like that because you can burn them for hours and you can only smell it just whereas when you buy a more expensive candle yeah it might be like four times more expensive but you just burn it for like 10 to 15 minutes and the whole well my whole flat is fill, filled with the scent and because you're burning it less time the candle actually lasts longer so it might seem like a lot more money that you're paying up front but in terms of long lasting and how strong the scent is and how powerful it is it is so worth the money candles to me are kind of like my little guilty pleasure it's my li like little luxury people like spending money on books some people like spending money on um, whatever they're interested in like stamps don't know whatever people are interested in they might collect sunglasses they might collect hats but for me my collection is candles like decent quality good quality candles I don't mind paying 50 pounds for a candle if it's gonna last me for like months okay next thing is heels I used to love heels I could do a marathon in heels I wore a lot of heels I still have a lot of heels I'm still attracted to heels but I don't buy them anymore because I know for a fact that I'm not going to get the wear out of it. Um, if I do go on a night out or if I do go for dinner with friends and I want to put on a pair of heels and feel a bit nice, I already have heels in my collection. I have classic nudes, classic blacks, heeled boots, every kind of heel that you can think of I have. So when I do see a pair of heels now I'll be like, oh, like those are so nice. I would love to buy them. But in reality, I'm not going to wear them, I don't need them, leave them on the shelf. <laughs> okay, next one is the latest gadgets. I used to be such a FOMO when it comes to like the iPhone, the iPad, new cameras. I used to always upgrade when a new one would come out. But I don't even do that anymore, especially with the iPhone. I'm just like, it's a phone, it works. Like, it's not bad quality, as long as it's not like... 10 years behind then I'm good with that I'm fine with that but in terms of um, iPhone MacBooks I would just be like okay there's a new phone out I'm gonna upgrade next time um, when I'm due for upgrade or if I'm not upgrading with a contract then I'll just buy it outright and I need the latest iPhone when in reality I don't need the latest iPhone it's not that much different nowadays. Um, I love watching iPhone comparison videos on YouTube and honestly I think that before the quality and the comparisons and the differences were so much more bigger like if you went from an iPhone 4 to an iPhone 5 there was a big difference but now when you go from an iPhone 11 to an iPhone 12 there really isn't that much difference so I don't feel the need to have the latest iPhone just for the sake of having the latest iPhone if you get what I mean. So another thing that I don't buy is cheap jewellery. Um, when I say cheap jewellery I mean like Topshop, you know the ones that turn green after a while. Um, all of my jewellery is gold plated now even though these contain colours um, but it is a lot long lasting than kind of like Topshop E earrings or jewellery so these earrings have had like two years now and they're still perfect condition the colour hasn't faded at all these are Misoma my rings are um, Monica Finida um, these have lasted me for years as well I haven't had to change them um, I wash my hands in them as well and they don't change colour whereas before I used to buy a lot of jewellery on the whim so like Topshop um, where else did I used to buy a lot of jewellery from ASOS mango um you know that that kind of jewelry and it would just change colors and then after a few months i'd be like throwing it away so i thought even though like yeah gold plated jewelry or just a bit more expensive jewelry is more expensive but in the long run it lasts much much longer as you can tell there's a theme going on everything that i buy 
needs to last me for a long time or else I'm not buying it. So another thing I wanted to mention was magazines. I haven't bought a magazine for ages. I used to easily spend about £50 a month on magazines. Obviously magazines are kind of dead now, nobody buys them. Um, it's all um, kind of like online. Um, even online I don't read or buy magazines anymore. Just a lot of content on the internet that's free nowadays. So I don't feel the need to buy magazines. I used to spend so much money. Oh my god, when I think back to the times I used to buy Ferg, Elle, Cosmopolitan, Glamour, Grazia. I used to buy every single magazine, every single issue and that used to cost so much money and that was when I was in uni as well so obviously I don't do that anymore. So last but not least, the things I used to always, always buy but I try not to anymore or actually I don't mean I hardly ever buy is underwear I have a weakness for underwear if I see a pretty bra set and a pretty lingerie like on lace and bow I used to buy it and then just leave it in my drawer never wear it because when I get a change in the morning I always reach for the comfy t-shirt bra the granny pants that really hold me <laughs> you know i'm not gonna reach for a stringy lacy bra or for a comfy one i'm not gonna go for a g-string or for a pair of nice comfy pants but i used to always buy it and there's something about buying it it makes you feel empowered like oh I'm gonna look sexy, I'm gonna put this on underneath my clothes and I'm gonna feel empowered and nobody's gonna know that I've got this sexy underwear underneath my outfit. Never happens. Always go for the granny washed a thousand times bra and pants. Yeah, I'm kind of like exposing myself but comfort is key when you get to my age, okay? Um, so yeah, I try not to buy underwear anymore. Underwear is not cheap you know, underwear is expensive so when you start buying underwear like every couple of weeks and you don't wear it and it's just sitting in your drawer, I'm just like that's money that I could have been putting into a stock. So I hope you liked my video today and this is just personal opinion, personal circumstances, personal habits. Obviously it's going to differ from person to person what you like to buy. I might not have ever bought in my life before but this is just some insight on how these little things can save you money if you just stop buying it or think twice think three times four times five times hopefully you enjoyed this video i am a big massive money saving bargain hunter kind of girl so if you want me to make more of these videos let me know um, if you have any ideas for me, let me know in the comments and I'll try to do it for you. But in the meantime, stay safe, take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! Mwah.